Thank you so much, uh, Jenny. Um, this is a terrific forum for educating patients and for giving you opportunities to uh, interact with us and ask questions. I'm gonna lead off with just a single slide to try to um, help those of you who aren't familiar with MRD understand what it is. And then uh, Dr. Fonseca is gonna take it from there and I'll, I'll speak after Dr. Fonseca. So let me share my screen. This is an upside down iceberg. Um, we all know that they usually float the other way around, but in this case, imagine that the patient's cancer is the iceberg and um, at the time of diagnosis, the patient might have as many as a trillion cancer cells that may well weigh several pounds. As we treat, we melt that iceberg. And all of you are familiar with the ways in which we measure this with M spikes and light chain measurements and uh, IG heavy chain measurements. Um, and we um, refer to things like a partial remission or a very good partial remission, VGPR, as that iceberg melts. So if half of the disease is gone by M spike measurement, it's a partial response. If 90% is gone, it's a very good partial response or a VGPR. By the time the iceberg melts enough to be at the waters uh, at the surface, um, a lot of the cancer is gone, but there's still cancer remaining that is not measured by M spike or a light chain. It's under the water and it's invisible to us if we just rely on the conventional um, assays that we've been doing for the last uh, few decades. Minimal residual disease or more recently measurable residual disease is the way by which we measure what's under the water. That is the, the, the last um, uh, 3% or 2% of the disease that we can't otherwise measure. As you could see here, when you get to the water's edge, there may still be a billion cancer cells left. And this is why patients, even though they achieve what we call complete remission, it's a misnomer because it's not complete. People still relapse. And I believe that we shouldn't be calling a complete remission. It's confusing for patients. And I think we should change our terminology. But be that as it may, it may take a few years to change our terminology. But these days, more and more, we are able to measure what's below the surface. And just so you understand, even those patients who get to zero malignant cells in a million, that's one way we can measure MRD, these patients can still relapse. So there's still something we can't measure that's even less than one in a million. Um, I'm gonna turn it now over to Dr. Fonseca to introduce you more to uh, MRD and I'll, I'll be back later. 